welcome to unlock layouts in this video we are going to discuss layers of the mosfet based on the cadence layout editor so let's start the video see in this schematic we have a systematic or symbolic view of p channel mosfet and as well as n channel mosfet so this is just a schematic view so in this video i am not going to give any connections or any simulations and all just we are going to see what are all the layers present in a c mass sorry p mass and n mass so both combined together it can act as a p mass but now i am not going to give any connections so first we are coming to the first m1 transistor so this is name here it's a default name so the tool itself automatically it will take the name called m1 so this is m1 transistor which means m1 transistor is a p mass so it's a mosfet so m1 mosfet so here we have a m1 mosfet and the name of the mosfet is p channel mosfet in this yellow color we, the tool itself it can give the automatic name of p channel mosfet and as i said all the mosfet transistors are four terminal devices see net3 is a gate terminal devices and this is a drain and this is a source and this is a body device so body in pure technology body will be attached body or detached body but now in our tool we have a detached body which means separate four terminal mass devices we have taken and see this is a w of the transistor which means width of the transistor is 600 nanometer so this is the length of the gate this is a 60 nanometer technology tool now i am using 60 nanometer technology so the length of the transistor is 60 nanometer and then the finger of the mosfet is one multiplier of the mosfet is one and remaining two these details are actually it's a general details so i don't know what it determined so some present options and some tool options some details are there so this is a terminals of the mosfet and then this is a internal device details and again we are going to the nmos see we have a nmos transistor in nmos also we have a gate terminal drain terminal and source terminal this is a body terminal and the name of the n channel mosfet is m0 and see this is a n channel mosfet and w width of the transistor is 600 and length gate length of the transistor is 60 nanometer and here also we have a finger is equal to 1 and multiplier is equal to 1 so both finger and multiplier is equal to 1 so both n mos and p mos having the same kind of w and finger multiplier all the details are same now based on this schematic now i am going to export the layout of the mosfet so now i'm going to expand export the layout of the mosfet so now i'm taking the layout of the mosfet see this is a layout of the mosfet so in left side view we have a schematic editor in right side view we have a cadence vertuso layout editor so see inter communication tool is there in between here and here see suppose if i'm clicking this p mos here the p mos will be highlighted suppose if i am clicking this n mos c n mos will be highlighted by the one white color layout so this is called inter tool communication so usually it is it will be available on layout excel tool and schematic excel tool so this is a difference between ex and excel tool so now as per our video now we are going to discuss the layer of the p mos and n mos see bottom we have a p mos so this device is a p mos devices now particularly i am going to zoom it and particularly we are going to discuss about only p mos so now we have a p mos device over here so as i said all the p mos device having four terminals see we have a three but in this layout we have only three terminals which means this is a gate terminal this is a drain terminal sorry this is a blue color is a gate terminal this one is a source terminal and this one is a drain terminal so i'll just i'll replace something here so in layout also whatever the details present in the schematic the same details will get it in a layout also for example if i am zooming here see this is a m1 device the device name is m1 so here also the p mos device name is m1 and this is a p channel mosfet here they have mentioned this is a p channel mosfet see here we have a p channel mosfet and bottom of this this is a 60 nanometer technology and i said so this is a 60 nanometer technology so here 0.06 rate this is a 60 nanometer technology and w of the transistor is 600 mic 600 microns so this is 0.6 so 0.6 is determined w of the transistor and this bar 0.06 rate this is a technology of the transistor sorry mosfet so now what are all the layers present in the p mos so now what i am going to do i am going to disable all the layers so now i am going to disable all the layers see now there is no layers present in the 
P mass. Now one by one, see here we have a LSW window. So in this LSW window, we can able to see what are all the layers present in the P mass and as well as N mass and all the devices which is in a layout editor. So now I am going to enable the layers one by one. Now I am, we are going to see what are all the layers present in the P mass and N mass and what are all the functionality of the layers. Now I am going to enable N well. See N well will be enabled only for P mass. See suppose if I am taking my mouse cursor to this point only the device is getting enabled but here no such a layer of n well because the bottom up devices which means this device up device is a p mass device so this is a p mass device right so p mass device leading in a n well as per the layout cross sectional view if you are taking a look of the cross sectional view of the p mass p mass will be leading in a n well which means the the channel of the source and drain will be leading in n well so p mass having one more layer called n well layer so here we have mentioned the color of white color so this is a n well layer again we are enabling one more layer called od so od is the oxide diffusion layer so the in this oxide diffusion layer only the source terminal and as well as drain terminal will be present so this is the uh, kind of substrate so we can call it in cross sectional view we can take it as a uh, we can call it as a local substrate and global substrate right so this is the uh, so it's not a substrate so this is od it's oxide diffusion in that oxide diffusion only the source terminal and drain terminal will be fabricated and also the gate terminal also and now i am going to measure the source terminal and drain terminal area see now i am going to take a ruler from here to here we have a 0 0.17 micron length again from here to here see the source terminal and drain terminal both terminal having 0 0.75 micron width so this is a uh, length of sorry so it's a length of the trans uh, mosfet sorry no width in the sense this is this is a width from here to here is a width of the mosfet from here to here we have a 600 micron width so here so as per the schematic so now we are coming to the schematic so in schematic we have a 600 micron width of the mosfet any mosfet p mosfet or n mosfet so the p channel mosfet and n channel mosfet both having 600 micron of length see from here to here i have measured the width of the mosfet this is exactly 0 0.6 in the sense the mosfet having the width of 0 0.6 micron and then this is a source terminal and drain terminal is totally different because source and drain terminal will be present in the oxide diffusion layer and then now we are going to calculate the length of the mass sorry length of the gate now again i am taking ruler from here to here i am measuring see as i said before this is a 60 nanometer technology so now this is the gate area so now in as of now there is no gate present here but we have allotted the area for see i am zooming this is 0 0.6 0 0.06 so which means it determined 60 nanometer is the gate area and source and drain area is 0 0.75 and 0 0.75 see 0 0.75 and 0 0.75 is the source and drain area see the source and drain area will be depends on technology to technology so in 60 nanometer technology the source area and drain area is 1.75 Okay, which means the length of the source and drain, not width of the source and drain. Width of the source and drain is 600 micron. So here, width of the source and drain is 600 micron. So length of the gate is 0 0.6, which means it's a 60 nanometer technology. So now we have a two kinds of layer here. So one layer is called the N-well layer. N-well layer present only in the P mass. Again, we are coming to the oxide diffusion. In oxide diffusion only, there will be a source terminal and drain terminal. So now I am going to take a look of this is a P mass. So now I am going to take a look of N mass. So N mass also having the same kind of terminal, which means source and drain terminal and gate terminal. See, suppose if we want, we can measure the area. See, this is 0 0.6 from here to here 0 0.75. Here to here also 0 0.75. And width of the MOSFET is, so now exactly 0 0.6. So the both transistor having the same width. In schematic, if you taking a look of schematic, 600 micron is the width of the transistor, P mass and N mass. So both transistors, both MOSFETs is having 0 0.6 micron and some gate and drain area. So gate area and drain area, everything is remain same. But in N mass, we don't get such a layer called the N well because N mass will be present in the P substrate layer. So P substrate will be global substrate. So here we don't want to measure, we don't want to give any layer called P substrate because the fabrication of these MOSFET is a N well process. So N well process basically the substrate is P substrate. But N mass, sorry, sorry, P mass 
we have to we have to manually we have to draw the layer called envel layer so this is called envel layer so now i am going to remove all the uh, rulers details uh, details present in the layout so now i removed everything now one by one we are going to see the layout present in the both pmas and nmas so now pmas having envel layer and we have a oxide diffusion layer so later i am going to enable poly see the both device having poly so if the blue color layer is called poly so uh, earlier only we measured the poly distance so the length of the poly is 0 0.60 0 0.06 which means this is a 60 nanometer technology same for a gate of the pmas also having the same 0 0.60 nanometer so both pmas and nmas having 60 nanometer technology see this is the length of the gate so blue color layer is a polysilicon layer so in polysilicon layer only usually the gate terminal will be there okay so now we are going to enable see first we have seen the layer called envel layer and what is the functionality of od layer and what is the functionality of this po layer which means poly layer poly layer basically we will use to for a to give gate connection so this is the usage of poly okay blue color line is a poly line again now we are coming to the pp layer so only for see pp layer only enabling to the p mask because this pp layer light so this is a p mask so we have a source and drain terminal should be p plus in implantation so if you are taking a look of uh, cross sectional view of the p mask source terminal and drain terminal will be p plus and p plus but the substrate global substrate is the p minus so how we can able to add the extra ion implantation or extra also the ion implantation or impurities so simply by adding this pp layer if wherever the pp layers are there which means here we have one colored layer right so this is a it's a kind of uh, it's a kind of color so here we have the see the, these colors will be vary to technology to technology and foundry to foundry so it's not a standard colors so now the pp layer present here in the p mass which means the source terminal and drain terminal will be a p plus implantation so at the time of doing fabrication so wherever the pp layer are there inside the pp layer ion implantation will be done again now we are enabling one more layer called np layer so this NP layer will be used only to the N mass because N mass transistor has to be source and drain terminal will be a N plus region. So usually N well is there. So in that yeah, sorry, in usually P mass will be present in the P substrate layer, but the diffusion, which means source and drain terminal, will be in a P plus region. Okay, sorry, the N plus region. So that's why we are adding one more np layer so this np layer wherever this np layer is there so there will be extra ion implantation so the n will be converted to n plus which means source and drain will be converted to n plus region now again we are coming to co co means contact so both p mass and n mass having the contact see now i am disabling the contact now i am enabling the contact so we have a contact of three contacts here source and drain terminal because we have to give the connection between source to some other metal so directly we can take a connection from the oxide diffusion so we need a one contact to give the to make the connection to some other metals so that's why here we are adding some contacts so the reason of adding contact to provide the proper contact between oxide diffusion layer and as well as some metal layer so both p mass and n mass having the contact layer now again i am going to enable one more layer called m1 layer suppose see m1 layer so just take a look where the m1 layer exactly leading in the layout the, i am in disabling now i am enabling so both on drain and source terminal this is called metallization so usually in the fabrication fa process we used one more process called metallization so this is called metallization so red color layer is a od layer and darker green the darker green is a contact and above the contact we have drawn the metal layer so this is a metallization layer so the through this metal layer we can give the we can draw the connection or we can give the connection to the source and drain terminal so oxide and as well as one contact this square box is a contact and this metal is a m1 metal so usually basically all the metal should be in a basic layout will be in a m1 metal because m1 is a lowest metal so that's why all the layer will be m1 layer will be present in the all the basic layout again these are all the basic layers so apart from these foundry to foundry we have a different kind of metals and different kind of layers now we have a three layers here first now i am going to enable one more layer called ip layer see i am not seeing any difference between this ip layer so nothing few nothing see this ip layer is a one more layer i don't know what is the functionality of this ip layer and one more layer is called text layer see 
if the text layer is present so now we can able to see whether it's name of the MOSFET and what kind of MOSFET whether it's a PMOS or NMOS and what is the width of the MOSFET and what kind of technology it is see now I am disabling see the layer is disappeared now I am enabling see the details of the MOSFET which means PMOS and NMOS both MOSFET details now we can able to see it's a NMOS and the width of the MOSFET is 0 0.6 and the gate length is 0 0.06 so this is called a text layer and one more layer called a PDK layer. So in PDK layer nothing so the net name which means uh, some kind of net name see this is a net 6, this is a net 8 and this is a net 5. So if you are taking the look suppose take a look of this schematic. So we have a PMAS drain of the PMAS so sorry this is a source of the PMAS. The source of the PMAS is denoted as a net 4. So now we are going to the sorry now we are going to the layout of PMOS so in this PMOS see source of the PMOS is denoted as a net 4 same this is a net 4 see this net 1, net 3, net 4, net 1 and net 5, net 7, net 8 and all automatically tool will take a decision so whenever we are drawing the schematic the tool itself automatically it will take the net name so the same net name will be presented here so based on the net name only the LVS check will be done whether we have given any short circuit or whether any mis net are there or any floating nets are there any unwanted connections are there so based on this net name only LVS will get clear so this is these are all the basic layers present in the NMOS and PMOS as per the layout so this is the PMOS layout and this is the NMOS layout so no other such a special layers are there so these are all the basic layers I hope I have given some valuable information to you in this video. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click like button and share this video to your friends. For more details about this video, please contact us to my email ID and follow us on my Facebook page and Twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button.